okay so what is up guys this is Kiran here welcome back to tech Kiran youtube channel finally oxygen os latest custom room is now available for a redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 s poco m2 pro and redmi note 9 pro max a ported room which can be installed through recovery yes this is the main thing this room can be installed through custom recovery so i'm not going to show you the installation just download the zip file and install from custom recovery and you can also format data if needed in my case i always for format data this room has some bugs for some users, some bugs not for some users. I'm gonna shift you my opinions about this build which is Oxygen OS latest OnePlus 6 port for Redmi Note 9 Pro and I, I have installed it on Redmi Note 9 Pro. You can install it on Poco M2 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and all those devices. We already know me actual devices. Let's get started. Let's find out the things you get here. Yes, we are talking about this build which is OnePlus 6. Our device name is showing as OnePlus 6 Snapdragon 845 of course. This is not a reality. It comes with the Android version 10 and it comes with the latest security patch of 1st of November 2020. I got some bugs and some things and you can see Google system update is little bit interesting i have no idea what is this google play system update google system update something different it comes with the mango kernel pre-installed what they are saying to us full screen gestures and as expected the smoothness is quite great which was expected also the smoothness is quite good but the things is uh, wi-fi etc seems to be working here in my case as you can see these are the things in my case i'm using airtel sim card and if you are looking for volty in my case volty is not working as at all i've tried that and i have no settings in this option let me show you by going here if i go for wi-fi and internet sim and network i have this and also let me tell you one thing if you're getting no option of turning on or turning off the sim data and if your data is not turning on i have a setting for you just you need to do is you need to put sim card 2 here after installing this build you need to put two sim cards to make it work and after that you can remove the first one like this one i have tried the both sim card and after some time to make it work i have removed the sim 2 and now sim1 is working fine here I can turn on the internet, the 4G net is perfectly working fine, but the Volt T, which means voice over 4G or voice over LTE is not working in my case. Some users said that Geo Volt is working fine, so I have not tried that, I am not using Geo, so not sure, but for Airtel Volt it is not working in my case. Maybe in your case it could work, but I am sharing with you my bugs that Airtel Volt is not working. But Airtel Volt is of course not a big thing because if you ever receive a call, that time your internet will not work, but you will be able to receive calls or make calls through 3g network and it will automatically convert to 3g or 2g whatever required at that time so this is not the big thing this is a bug but not a big kind of bug things to things which you get here all the oneplus updated apps or you can update from the google play store messaging app phone app which are one of the great custom great things in oneplus devices i personally loves to use this and here it is finally i just wanted to let you know and yes it is here qualcomm q serial ms is not responding this is the bug which i got sometimes and as you can see it's just over I got this force stop bug from approximately in 12 hours to 3 or 4 times which is kind of a bug not sure why it is uh, according to my preferences RIL which means it's related to 4G voltage etc maybe I'm not sure because I'm not a developer of course other thing seems to be we have this one plus shelf option which was expected is it is here other things are same kind of things available smoothness is great you can simply open your app drive one plus launcher is this we already know about one plus launcher it has this games option one plus gallery file manager also it does not show you the 40 it, it does not show you the sd card here let me show you by going here by going to categories you will not see the things which you have in sd card like install packages the things which i have in my internal storage are available here but not available in sd card these this is not showing my whole sd card data but if i go for the storage i have the sd card option available i can access my sd card but in this categories option i'll not be able to access my data so this is also a bug which is not fixed also if you talk about the things yes the face log is available which is not working which was not available which was not working in, in redmi note 8 also so kind of the same thing in this redmi note 9 pro kind of the same thing you can see here face log is available but that is not working so it's not recommended to use other things seems to be same here also let me show you the camera this is the default camera which you get here a oneplus camera so this seems to be good but i've not tried all those things let's try out if everything seems to be working going for the portrait mode okay 
here it is portrait mode is not working the photo mode is working here but not sure about the portrait mode we have the zoom in options available one or two x if you go for the two x it seems to be working till now going for the video mode that's also not working but the best part is let me show you one thing this is the option shot on oneplus by tecker and this is the thing which i was looking for i sometimes use this thing and i yesterday shared a pic of this shot on oneplus so this is the thing this is the watermark which i wanted to uh, which i wanted to check it out and it's working fine here this is the pro mode which is not working so almost everything seems to be broken here till now portrait and pro mode and time lapse panorama everything seems to be not working Working, just a normal photo option is available so you can simply normally capture photos and shot on oneplus by current but nothing else is working here which is a little bit of disappointing and even the settings is not opening uh, i think because of let me try once because yesterday i tried to open the settings it was working fine here so if we go here and now the settings option is working fine here so let me try other things if you go for the pro mode yes it's working fine the portrait was not working and after clicking on portrait anything was not working at all so these are the some things which you get here and this is something interesting a pro mode which you can adjust we have the panorama mode so which means yes everything seems to be working here sorry for that that i didn't test it that but it should work and these were the things i just wanted to let you know you can test out the camera maybe i am missing something maybe you'll get some things Going for the other things which you get here, you already know about the things which you get in a OnePlus device. Bugs, I already told you the 4G VoLTE, the camera had some a little bit of bugs like the portrait is not working and other things. Also, let me tell you one thing. In my case, I'm using this Wi-Fi connection which is actually really good and the downloading speed is quite good. But I'm getting some issues while browsing like browsing the web page. In my case, it's a little bit of slow. You can try out some fixes if it is working for you, you can try out some VPN or something but in my case this is also a bit of an issue not sure about in your case but in my case it is talking about the magisk manager in my case magic suite 20 1.1 i have installed and if you go for the safety net status i think so it's working fine no it's not working fine attestation is failed here and even i have tried the magic hide props config but not sure i have tried to hide that yes it's hidden and magic hide props config is also installed still the safety net status is not passed because of magic 21.1 maybe if you try the magic other version and after installing this maybe it will work not sure about that but safety net is not passing so Will not be able to use the banking apps maybe and if i go for the google play store and if you go for the settings option here and yes as expected the device is not certified the so device is not certified safety status is not passing which means you will not be able to use the banking apps other things seems to be working and same here Talking about the battery stats, in my case, battery backup is okay, okay, not that much good, not that much bad. It's kind of the same thing, screen is since full jar, 3 hours, not from 100%, it was from 69% approx, so it's just good, it's not bad, normal battery backup, not, not saying that huge battery drainage, but it's not like the previous one which I told you that I got approximately of 16 hours of screen on time, it's not like that one too. Face log is also a bug and SD card rating is also a bug. The bugs I already told you and talking about the features, Wi-Fi, internet, Bluetooth, display, etc. Going for the display, we have the same kind of thing. Screen calibration includes the Vivid, natural and advanced. By default, you will see at the Vivid option, you will be able to use the natural one. Notch display, etc. is available here, but that is of no use for these devices. Blink light status bar. Also, I've checked it out. I checked something. Let me want to, let me show you one thing. If I double tap the device, the double tap to wake is option is available here. This is not kind of a bug, but yes, it is actually. If you go for the things like let me try by buttons and gestures, quick gestures, we have the option of choosing the double tap to wake, but it is turned off by default. You can see still is the double tap to bake is working even after that is turned off. So this is a little bit of an issue, not a big thing, but three finger screenshot seems to be really fine. No issues here and there. Other things, some OnePlus features are just great and I you already know that OnePlus devices are just great. Parallel apps, app locker option is available here too. So you can use them and OnePlus laboratory, pocket mode, etc. Seems to be everything seems to be working till now. Didn't got any major issues. This is OnePlus 6 port for a Redmi Note 9 Pro and this Mi 12 devices uh, users 
builds you want to try it out the link for this build is in the description go ahead and install this and other things are just great here this is all from today's video i just want to let you know all those things which i which i just experienced till now and i hope you got to know and i hope you like this video if you like this don't forget to like and share this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me thanks for watching and goodbye